go as a handful of fishermen from the Marquesas Islands got lost in a big storm and the waters, winds and waves brought them all the way up here to Hawaii, believe it or not. They were just fearless navigators, so they saw these islands, they came here, they jumped back into their canoes, found their way back to the Marquesas and told the people back home about this place. And a very short time later, they came back and became the first Hawaiians. The people who live down in the valley nowadays, exactly the same lifestyle that they had so many years ago. Live off the land, hunt and fish, farm taro, live life in peace and quiet. The only difference, there's not as many people nowadays anymore. I used to th have thousands of people in this valley. Nowadays there's just a handful left, maybe 20 or 30. Do they export any of the beef or anything off the island? Not at all. No, this is all just for the island use around here. Also the farming and all that is on a very small scale. And that's just what they need to live themselves, right? This island, as you can imagine, many times get cut off from the rest of the world with the winds and waves and uh, you know, all different kinds of situations. And uh, they don't want to be—they uh, don't want to rely on anybody else. Here's that community on the right-hand side, beautiful surf coming in. Then here on the left-hand side, you see the waterfalls. This is the lifeline of the people who live down here because because that's the drinking water. That's where they get it from, and that's what they use to irrigate their fi their fields and everything. Let's do a couple of turns right here. Tommy, I'll be coming around for you guys in just a second again, okay? See the beautiful surf rolling in there on the bay. Oh my god, what a day over here. Big waves too. I hope everybody got a nice view of the waterfalls in the back of this valley. We head on out towards the north shore of Molokai. A very, very dramatic view we're going to get in a good way, of course. The tallest sea cliffs in the world. It was three and a half thousand feet tall. Check it out. This is a 2,200 foot waterfall right here called Papalaua.
So how's everybody doing? Are you guys enjoying the flight? Yep. Feel good? Yep. Perfect. Really nice. I'm glad you're having a good time. That's all that counts for me. So what happened out here in the north shore of Molokai that created this incredible cliff was a big earthquake. About 200,000 years ago, half of this island just broke off into the ocean. And all that rain that happened afterwards created all the flat spots along the cliffs. So this is all from landslides over the thousands of years. The shoreline you see here on the left-hand side used to be about three miles out on the, on the right-hand side. Okay, this one's for Gabby. See the rainbow? Yep. The circle rainbow, see, so goes all the way around. There's a double circle rainbow. What does that mean? Yeah, right below us. See, there's a couple of people that live below, and there's another one here on the left-hand side behind us. So they live out here, their little lives, too. They have lived here for so many, ever since I can remember, at least the last 20 years. And, uh, yeah, live off, away from society out here. It looks all nice and easy, but uh, I don't think it's always quite as beautiful. You know, we fly around, you have a rainbow and waterfalls and everything. But uh, when the winter day days come and the storms hit and the rain winds, and I think sometimes it can get pretty lonely out here. The only way to get here is a boat too. That already kind of cuts you off a little bit because the waves out on the North Shore in wintertime are 30, 40, 50 feet tall. And you take a boat out there and that's probably the last thing you do. <laughs> High above the chimney top, that's where you find me, oh, somewhere over the rainbow, way up 
I'm going to be hopping over that ridge line straight ahead of us. Maybe hit a little bit of a bump as we descend on down on the other side. Nothing too serious, I'm sure. There's a beautiful view that's going to open up there too with the reefs on the south side of Molokai. This is where most of the people live.